What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the All Day ABA podcast. My name is Kayla, and I'm your host. My mission is to make behavior analysis fun and accessible for clients, therapists, and even supervisors. Today, I thought we would wrap up season one with just some reflections on the past 10 episodes. And this is season one, episode 11. All the links will be in the show notes at alldayaba.org. You can just find the little tabby tab that says podcast show notes, and this is season one. So welcome back, and I'm very excited to be here. It has been a journey recording this first season. I released the welcome episode. Let me take a look. I'm looking on my podcast app and uh, trying to find the date. I think it was, let's see, at least the welcome episode, July 12th. And I am recording this on September 18th. So that's July, August, September. So that's like two solid months of podcasting. And I did not really know kind of where this podcast was going to go when I started it. Um, I still don't quite know where it's going to go, to be honest with you. I still don't know how to do a podcast. Uh, I don't know how to really truly set up a professional one. And I've just been winging it solo. I mean, I did shout out to Brian Middleton for helping me um, figure out some of the back end tech for everything. Uh, He definitely helped me feel more confident in the tech aspect of a podcast. Anyway, so let's see. So I did the welcome episode and then the first real true episode that was longer than, you know, one minute was episode two. And I talked with Georgie Roykman from Financialism. That was a super fun episode, kind of hearing his backstory and what he does with his business. And then episode three was with Becca Davis from uh, Becca's Teacherpreneur Academy or Becca E. Davis or Becca's Music Room. She has so much going on. She truly is one of my biggest inspirations in online business. And that's one reason why I was really happy to have her on the podcast as a guest and hopefully back again one day in the future. Episode four was a solo episode that I did and it was Journey to Neurodiversity mindset. I think I kind of touched on my backstory and how I got to, you know, just this point at where I'm at in life. Episode five was with Ricky, the RBT, who is actually a BCBA. <laughs> uh, I, we talked about content creation in the ABA space, and I just think he is such just a super cool human. He's just so super cool. Brian Middleton, Uh, was episode six, and we did experiences as an autistic BCBA. Uh, Episode seven was with my darling love and husband, Benjamin Model. Episode eight was ACT with Mindfully Mallory. Episode nine was neurodivergent parenting and entrepreneurship with Allie from Sidekick Learning. And episode 10 was actually a contingency click episode, but I kind of directed everybody there from here, if that makes sense. So talking about postpartum psychosis. And that that is one reason why I'm choosing to wrap up this season here um, is that I'm, I'm still recovering from psychosis and I, I'm not trying to be dramatic in saying that, but it's been interesting. It's been really hard. Um, so just kind of moving forward. I do plan to bring the podcast back for season two. So there's that. But for right now, I'm really trying to get medications adjusted. I'm really trying to work on not sleeping as much. Uh, Coming home from being inpatient for almost a week, life is just not been the same as it was before. And this podcast is one thing that I've looked forward to doing every week. Um, and it's really 
been encouraging to have this platform and to be able to talk to you guys. That's been super duper cool. I never, well, I, w- I shouldn't say I never thought I would be a podcaster, but like, I mean, podcasting wasn't even a thing when I was young. So I couldn't say that, you know, I always wanted to be a podcaster because that just straight up did not exist until I was, you know, a little bit older. Uh, but yeah, I, I did not think that this little business called all day ABA would turn into what it is today. And I I'm going to plug a few things for a second, because I don't think I've done a good job of that on this podcast, talking about all the different facets of, um, my business and kind of what's available. So, uh, the main thing that I focus on with all day ABA is my teachers pay teacher store. So you can go to teacherspayteachers.com and all day ABA one word is my store. So that is kind of the main part of my business at this point. I also have a YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, you of course know that. But if you are listening on Apple Podcasts or, you know, another platform, then you can go to the All Day ABA YouTube channel. Again, it's all one word. What else? I have a blog. I have made... um, a blog post for every single section of the fifth edition task list. And I was so frustrated when I first started um, making study materials, the ethics code was the old one. And so I was in the middle of making a study bundle and then they updated the ethics code. So there are two different sets of ethics blog posts. There's the original one, which I think was E1 through E10. And then when they updated it, they updated it from E1 to E7. And it's a whole different set of ethics. So there's even some kind of bonus blog posts on the old ethics code if you're interested on those. What else do we have? So we've got Teachers Pay Teacher Store, YouTube, blog, this podcast. So that's super cool. I think I, I have loved doing it. Um, I have an Etsy shop, an all day ABA Etsy shop. It's a lot of, it's a lot of the same materials I used to as teachers pay teachers. I used to have physical items on there, but honestly, that's just like a lot to keep up with. So I haven't done physical items in quite a while. Um, I do, well, I shouldn't quite say that because I do have the all day ABA, um, website, and the store on there. And I do sell a couple um, physical printed study materials. Um, one of them, this is the this is the old version of the study book, but it uh, you can't see it if you are only listening, but it's the fifth edition task list study book. And it is a lot of pages, over 400 pages, um, kind of large print, but it's a workbook and you can write in it and all sorts of cool stuff. So there are some physical materials, at least at the time of recording, there are some physical materials that you can buy. Anyway, um, I have a boom learning store. So I have some boom cards that I sell and those are self-grading digital task cards. Um, Yeah, that's a fairly good summary of what all I think is available. I feel like I'm missing a lot. Probably, but yeah, moving forward, I've gotten some requests for some different guests that people want to have on the podcast. So I'm going to keep looking into that and inviting other guests on for season two. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just reflecting on the season, I'm trying to think of some things that I've learned from podcasting. Uh, number one is that I think I'm a really good interviewer. I don't know what you guys think, but I think I'm a decent interviewer and I really like coming up with questions to ask people. And I really like hearing other people's perspectives on things. And I learned that you don't have to (laughs) understand technology in order to make a podcast work. So for those of you that are curious, um, how I do the podcast, I use zoom. I have a paid version of zoom and I record. And that's how I get the video and the audio. Um, I use anchor.fm. It's a website and you can upload and it will help you um, kind of distribute your RSS feed, I think is what it's called. 
and you have you do have to like go into different platforms and like kind of confirm that rss feed like it doesn't just necessarily automatically put things out but once you get everything set up then you can just upload to one place and it kind of distributes it everywhere except for youtube i do go in and manually upload it to youtube separately what else yeah i learned a lot this season it was very interesting i love i had never um done a whole lot of collaborating with other people so it was really cool to see different opportunities kind of come about from networking and collaborating and yeah I think I just learned that there's just like a whole world of people out there that are ready to like have conversations and that all that you have to do is just you know reach out and have those hard conversations or those, you know, new and exciting conversations. Not all conversations are going to be hard, obviously. Um, so if you're thinking about podcasting, <laughs> definitely there's a plug for that. Definitely do it. Um, yeah, there's, there's just a lot of room in the ABA space for podcasts. And I think that a lot of you are probably, um, like returning listeners, but also listeners that listen to other ABA podcasts. So I'd be really curious to see, you know, you all start a podcast. So think about it and I will see you all back for season two. So don't forget to check out the show notes if you're interested in any of the resources that I mentioned and yeah, I'll see you around soon. Have a good day. Bye.